Hey kids, I hope you all are doing good. I hope your neat preparation is going great. Yes, today I'm here to revise with you a small topic which is very very important for your neat exam. It is double fertilization. That is, you know that the fertilization in angiosperms, right? Fertilization in angiosperms, flowering plants, is double thamaka why we call it as double thamaka because there are two fusions that are happening the first fusion is the syngamy isn't it syngamy and the second fusion is the triple fusion isn't it since there are two fusions involved we call it as the double fusion or we call it as the double fertilization isn't it so, if you look at the structure of the embryo sac, the embryo sac, you know, in angiosperms is the 8 nucleated 7 cell structure, right? So, it is this very elaborate 8 nucleated 7 cell structure, right? Yes. So, when the fertilization happens, during the fertilization, you can see that the pollen tube is coming down, right? The pollen tube comes down uh, after the pollen germination. Right, and the pollen tube is going to carry the two male gametes inside. And I am sure you know that there is one tube nucleus inside this pollen tube, and there is going to be two uh, male gametes, isn't it? Two male gametes because we need two male gametes to enter the embryo sac, right? And we know all the cells of the embryo sac are haploid. That is, this is the antiportals, right? And these are the polar nuclei which are in the center, right? And we have the egg apparatus which is containing of consisting of the two synergids and one egg cell, right? So all of this is here. So now what will happen in double fertilization is that the first male gamete, the first male gamete, and also one more thing, very important structure that is present here is this filiform apparatus, isn't it? The filiform apparatus, the finger-like projections that is present at the entrance of the synergid will guide the pollen tube inside and you can see that two male gametes are released into one of the synergid. This is also a very important point, right children? The two male gametes are released into one of the synergids. That means at the onset of entry of the pollen tube, you can see that both the synergids uh, one synergid will have the male gamete, will receive the male gamete. The finger like projections, that is the filiform apparatus, pushes these male gametes inside. Now, what happens? The first male gamete, it will go and fuse with the egg. Right? The first male gamete goes and fuses with the egg, which is nothing but syngamy. That means the first fusion that is happening is the first male gamete fuses with the female gamete, giving rise to the zygote right that is the zygote will further develop into the embryo etc right so haploid male gamete plus haploid female gamete we get the diploid zygote right now the second male gamete will fuse with the diploid polar nuclei right will give us the primary endospermic nuclei which is a triploid structure that is n plus 2n we will get 3n this primary endospermic nucleus is will later on it will form the endosperm of the seed right which is going to nourish the developing embryo so this is double fertilization yes children first is syngamy isn't it why do we call it as double fertilization because the first fusion is the fusion of male and female gamete which is syngamy second fusion is the fusion of male gamete with polar nuclei which will give us a triploid right so that is triple fusion right children since there are two fusions involved we call this as double fertilization that is double tamaka two fusions syngamy and triple fusion now at the end of the fertilization we got that we got the diploid zygote so now at the end of the fertilization what happens the zygote develops into the embryo through multiple divisions and embryo that is the primary endospermic nucleus along with the primary endospermic cell remember this cell of the embryo sac the central cell the central cell the central cell will now become the primary endospermic cell 
after fertilization after triple fusion right they will give rise to the endosperm of the embryo right and we know that the ovule will completely the uh, outermost layers of the ovule that is a megasporangia will form the seed right seed coat and everything right and the ovary will develop into the fruit right so this is what happens post fertilization so i hope double fertilization uh, is clear to everybody now it was just a quick revision and i hope you all find this useful if you like this video please like this video and please subscribe to this channel and share the video and spread the word thank you so much